I have finished the study for um, the Arizona highways uh, project that we're doing um, coming up in the December issue. And so the piece that I had picked for uh, to be my inspiration and my jumping off point was out of an um, August issue 2019 of Arizona Highways. And it was a, a photograph by Joel Hazelton. The uh, grasslands of Southern Arizona is where his scene is from. I'm depicting it fairly close to how he photographed it. I'm making a few compositional changes where I've really made it a long, narrow format opposed to his format, which was much wider and showing a lot more of the foreground and the grass, where I've taken a lot of that out and really am pushing um, into the sky and bringing in some interest there. I love that area because as a child, um, I would go to Southern Arizona and visit my grandmother who who lived down in Dun Duncan, Arizona. And we would spend the evenings, it was always a tradition, always an exciting time of day. We would spend the evenings and we would walk the hills out by her house. And I recall the thunderstorms that would always be off in the distance and they were gorgeous and it was summer. So I'm sure I was there during monsoon season. This photograph of Joel's really took me back to that time. And it, so it really means a lot to me in regards to that as well. So my study is done. It is a oil and it is done on a five by 16 panel canvas. Now it helped me get and establish my palette and where I'm going compositional wise. There appears to be even a few more changes from my original drawing. This is my pen and ink drawing that are even changing now as I move into this. And as I get into the larger piece, there might even be a few more changes. But I'm gonna start today, so I'm excited to get this up on the easel and get rolling with it. These are some small sketches that I'm just working out, some compositional thoughts and ideas. They are done in pencil. Um, all of the videos that you are watching are um, edited into time-lapse videos just for the sake of you not having to watch it at regular speed. And then this is the final thumbnail sketch um, that I am actually using some grayscale markers to give me a little bit more of punch and to get a feeling of how my values are going to look. I actually like how this thumbnail is turning out. I will use this as the basis of where I am going. It helps establish my values, my composition. So I will move on to a color study next, which will help me with the palette and the direction of the mood of the painting. Now I am moving on to the small study, which is done on a linen canvas using oil paints. Um, just starting off with these yuccas in the foreground and I will build off of that. It is time-lapsed as well. I have speeded these up significantly just to keep you from um, having to watch the whole several, several, several hours that it took to paint this study. I begin to design the clouds, these swelling cumulus, with a dark mixture. Then I come back with a paper towel and wipe away, pulling out some lights, start designing them.
The blue sky laid in against those bright clouds starts creating the drama and the mood. Felt like my horizon was a bit too high, so I lowered it and brought some of the horizon sky color down. That's a better design. I will bring some lights down into the foreground, bring this study to completion, and then I can go on to the major painting the large piece. 